One year ago, Google announced Cloud Run Jobs. And after 12 months of testing and proving that everything was okay, they announced this week that it is now public available for everyone. But what is Cloud Run Jobs? And how does this differ from Google Cloud Run? We need to know that Cloud Run is a service that essentially is a web application that are always listening for incoming requests. So those are commonly known as a call in this context. This means that they are designed to respond whatever they receive, a certain type of request from another service or from a user. Cloud Run jobs change the rules. For instance, they don't need to be web application. And even better, those jobs are not listening. And as soon as these jobs are executed, they are done. So why do I need to have a Cloud Run jobs? I can imagine many, many reasons, but imagine one. Imagine that you have a web application where we upload a video, a video file that we want to convert. For example, like YouTube is doing, you add a file and this video is converted in different sizes. And then you want to execute in a cloud run. But what's happening is that you cannot parallelize this execution because in cloud run, you have only one container. So then what can you do? What you can do is you can call from cloud run and a different number of Cloud Run jobs, for example, imagine a number 100, that each one is going to take a part of this video and is going to work making different sizes. The main question, how can I do that? We have two main variables, one that is called Cloud Run Task Index, that is going to tell to us the job index execution, and the second one that is called Cloud Run Task Count that always specify the number of execution that we have. For example, 100. So imagine that we have a code that the one that we have in the screen, that is a Python code that is going to show in the screen the value of Cloud Run Task Index and the value of Cloud Run Task Count. And now we have a Docker file. It's a simple Docker file as the one that you can see in the screen that is using a Python image. And what it's going to do is install the requirements. And after that, what it's going to do is start the Python application. We build this image with Google Cloud Builds and after a while, when the image is built, if we go to Cloud Run in the Google console and we click on Create Job, we can start to play. First, we are going to choose the image that we already created, the one that we had before with our Python code. We are going to give a name to the job. We choose a region, the one that you prefer. And at this point, we are going to specify how many parallel jobs we want to run. In my case, it's going to be 10, but could be 100, could be 1000. We are not going to change more options, but as you can see, you have many options similar to Cloud Run. There is some information that is better to know. There is a maximum of 1000 jobs in parallel, 200 per CPU with two gigs. So if you want to execute 1000 jobs, you are going to need at least five CPUs and 10 gigs. Now, when we click on create, we end up in a job that has two options to be executed. We can either create a scheduler that will specify when it's going to be executed or we execute the job manually, which is what we are going to do now. When we click and execute, after a second, the job appears and it starts to be executed. When all this is complete, as you can see in the screen, we can build all the log. And here we find the two variables that we used previously, where Cloud Run Task Index will be an incremental from 1 to 10, as you see here, and Cloud Run Task Count is going to be always 10. In my case, I can find many uses for Cloud Run jobs, and I hope that you can do that too. I hope that you liked the video, and please don't forget to click on like, subscribe for more updates, and see you next time. Infrastructure is well set and maintained. We know for sure there is always room for improvement. If you are uncertain where to begin, let's first do an audit of what you already have. We will review your setup from every angle, performance, cost, security, high availability, automation, and provide you with a detailed roadmap of which direction your infrastructure should go generate concrete tasks for you to implement, or even take on your infra entirely, if you let us, of course.